don't get the amount of foreplay that we need. You know, so like we don't naturally self lubricate, blood flow doesn't rush to the clitoris if we're not getting, you know, which, which is what we need for <laughs> orgasm. So all these things, you know, don't physically happen to our body if we're not getting the foreplay that we need. So, and here's the thing who's worked for Fifty Change of Grey? Anybody read that in there? Okay. Oh, all right. Well, so so let me ask you this why, <laughs> why are women all over the world flipping out about this Christian Grey character? We don't know what he looks like, we've never seen a picture of him, but we're all head over heels over this man. Dominant. Our imagination is, but think about it. He's a master at foreplay. Yes. Is he not? Yes. yes. Right. He is a master at foreplay. <laughs> I was like, yeah. you did. There's three of them that you definitely Yes. Did. Master at foreplay. Because it's ladies, it's how he talks to her, right? And for men are very visual. For women, it's how you talk to us and how you touch us, right? So, <clears throat> he's a master at foreplay. Why do we all love him? Because that's what we want. We want to be talked to like that. We want to feel like that. We know I may not want to be treated necessarily the way she was, but... Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, either way, totally fine. Um, so here's the thing. Really what foreplay is, ladies, it's your mind-body connection. It's the connection between your mind and your body. That's it. And as women, I don't know about you, but a lot of women are often control freaks. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Clearly. So we all know if this is running and running and running and running and running, this is not running. Right? We need this to turn off so this can turn on. And half the time, we're controlling everything. Yes. We're controlling everything. Like, oh, my God. Well, what's he doing? And is he going to do this? And then, and then your, brain, your brain is going, oh, my gosh. Well, wait. Did I do this for work? And what am I going to wear tomorrow? And did I, did I have to go grocery shopping? Oh, I forgot to get this at the store. You know, this is where our brains are, right? When they should not outside. Right? So I'm going to show you a little example of foreplay. Because, ladies, can I tell you? Game changer. $12 blindfold. <laughs> Game changer in the bedroom. Seriously, because when you're blindfolded, what happens to the rest of your senses? They heighten. They heighten, exactly. So when you're blindfolded, you're not thinking about all these other things. All you're thinking about is what is he going to do to my body next? Because you can't see, right? So game changer, ladies. It is tame. It is sweet. It's from our Grey Revolution line, by the way. Grey satin. It is $12 blindfold. Game changer. I highly recommend everybody take one home. So what I'm going to do, um, what is your fiance's name? Aaron. Aaron, okay. Now, this is Vegas. So... What happens here stays here. Would you like to think about Aaron right now? Or would you like to think about, let's say, Channing Tatum? Or <laughs> Matthew McConaughey? Or whoever your favorite would be. Or do you want to think about Aaron? You, know, you tell me. What's your favorite? <laughs> you can think about your favorite movie star. You can think about your fiance. You tell us. I'll think about Aaron. You'll think about Aaron. Okay. Oh, so yeah. After the wedding. After the wedding. Sorry. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, Courtney, I'm going to blindfold you. Okay. So feel, to, feel free to adjust it if you need to. And um, we're going to get in your fantasy here for a minute. So if anybody wants to close your eyes, you can. You don't have to, but if you want to. No, you're perfect. It looks great. She looks great. Doesn't she? Hey, yes. great. All right. So we're going to get in her fantasy. All right. So Courtney, I want you to imagine right now that you are in Tahiti. And you are in one of those private, over-the-water bungalows. Well, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? And it's has a glass floor, so you can see like the crystal clear blue water underneath. You can see like tropical fish swimming by every so often. It's gorgeous. You can see the, the ocean floor, beautiful. Uh, the shutters are open in this private bungalow you have, and so you can smell the sea air. The wind is just blowing in and out effortlessly in this private bungalow you have. Um, you can hear the birds. You can hear the waves. Um, smell this salty sea air. It's gorgeous, and it's a perfect 70 degrees, no humidity, wonderful. And you're there, and you're there in a hot piece of lingerie. Or you're naked, I'll let you choose that, whichever naked. works for you. Oh. And you're there with Aaron, and it's your honeymoon. And he's looking pretty fantastic as well. He is shirtless and barefoot, and he's wearing some ripped sexy jeans, and you can see the V, if you know what I mean? The V on the way to the P. <laughs> and, and he's pacing around you because, you know, he's telling you how hot you are, how fantastic you are, how unbelievable you are, and how, <laughs> and how happy he is that you are finally his wife and he has waited for this. So, um, he's pacing around you, and because you have a problem he has to solve, and only he can solve it. So all of a sudden, he starts doing this. <laughs> How's that feel? Because 
what he is doing, what Aaron's doing right now, is appealing to your sense of touch. You didn't know that was coming, and hopefully he's thinking, this is going to get you a little turned on right now. Now, another thing that... <laughs> I'm turned on right now. <laughs> <I'm turned> on. <laughs> another thing that Aaron wants to do is he wants to appeal to your sense of smell. You can smell anything. Can you smell anything? A little something a little different? Okay. Because, um, again, you're blindfolded. You don't know what's coming. He wants to appeal to that sense of smell. Another sense, because all your senses are heightened, he wants to appeal to your sense of taste. You want to go ahead and lift the top of your hand. How's that taste? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah? Tastes sweet? Yeah. Sweet? You can look it again. We won't judge. So what I want you to imagine right now, Courtney, is I want you to imagine that Aaron is taking this, and he's putting it on all these different... <laughs> Yes, I am. Uh, but he's putting it on all these different spots on your body. Okay? Not here. And then slowly, ever so slowly, and only the way that Aaron can do, he is slowly just licking it off all these different parts of your body. How's that feel? Pretty good. Feel good? Yeah? Okay. So, yes, he is licking all these parts of your body. Now, I told you it was like a perfect 70 degrees, right? No humidity. Perfect. But you're pretty hot and bothered right now. Because, you know, Aaron just does that to you. He's good like that. So, um, he, he is going to want to cool... <laughs> he is going to want to cool you down. Okay? He doesn't want anything happening before he's ready for it to happen. So, he's going to start using this. Right? Perfect. Well, here we go. Mission accomplished. Let's give her a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah.